Major League Baseball. Hi, everybody. Friday afternoon. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crock at 2K Sports. Now for a look at our starting pitcher. Steve, we're going to be watching as he uh, approaches this lineup for what? Now well, a good right-handed pitcher on the mound right here facing this lineup that can score some runs. It's going to be critical for him to keep the ball down in the zone and pitch to his capabilities. If he does that, he should have success. And here's how their offensive lineup looks. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Now, it took some time for Carlos Gonzalez to carve out his space in the major leagues, but once he did, he didn't stop. One of the best young hitters in the game hits lefties as well as righties. In there, their first base. He'll be starting us off in this game. Here's the pitch. Now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. Sometimes when the pitch comes out of the pitcher's hand, you have to say to yourself, I'm going to lay off and wait for the next one. He didn't think you could catch up to it. Good decision. Oh. Looping curve breaks outside even at one. That's swung on and a liner here. That's one down. And a look at the D. John, uh, who's a factor for them? Well, you want to see a guy who has grown into an unbelievable fielder? Take a look at Jay Bruce. Not only did he come up as a center fielder, he's moved to right field and made himself one of the best defensive right fielders. But watch that cannon of an arm he possesses. That left arm keeps a lot of guys from running, taking that extra base. Zimmer is the batter. something off and it swung on and missed 0 and 1. Pitch on the way. Can't catch up with that swing and a miss and it's now 0 and 2. Well if you're going to be late on the fastball you're going to have trouble hitting up here and he's struggling right now. There's a swing and a ball hit well. Deep straightaway center field. Back. And the first run of the ball game. Wow, it comes with a solo home run and a 1-0 lead. A great piece of hitting right there. He turns on that one, rotates the hips, and drives the ball. And that's going to give them the lead here and an early lead. I'm going to see if they can tack on a few more here in the first and put the pressure on. Now back Getting out in front of the it field changes field the field whole field dynamic field. of the game. Your pitcher feels comfortable, and it puts all kind of pressure on the opposition. and misses at the fastball 0 and 1. Steve they love to see their bats going here. You just love to get a big jump in a ball game. Now you know you have to wonder whether nerves are a factor here in the first inning and affecting the way these pitchers are going at it. Foul ball! It's fouled away. Fastball got him two down. Did a great job getting it going too. That third pitch, unhittable. Guess he figured why waste the pitch, save the arm. He did. Nice job.
Grady Sizemore with a chance. Two down. He deals. Oh, he loses control of that one, and that got him. I think it's safe to say, Gary, that's going to leave a mark. That hurts him up here. And it's Travis Hafner now. Look, Gary, as we saw that hitter get hit with the pitch right there, it's just a mechanical issue. He'll get that ironed out a little bit, but I don't think it's intentional, certainly. What you don't want to do is let it get in your head when you start to worry about pitching inside or getting too close to anybody. So he's got to make sure his head's right. There's the delivery. That one's hit to the right. Way down there, but that's going to be a long foul ball. Ball that tied him up in knots, swung on and missed, side retired. Nice way to get things started. The visiting club is out in front, one to nothing. Now a look at their starting pitcher. And what is this lineup going to see from him today, Steve? A pretty even matchup right here. Quality right hander against a quality lineup. And oftentimes we say good pitching beats good hitting. We'll see if that prevails in this one. First pitch on the way. On the ground to first. And he'll step on first for out number one. Right now, we'll take a look at their lineup. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, a guy that can switch, hit, hits at the top of the lineup, can steal bases and play gold glove defense. Orlando Hudson's a guy to keep your eye on today. Can change the game in so many ways. the middle and that one's down that's the team's first hit now as we get into this game what are we going to see defensively john is scouting anyone here well there's a great athlete out there in the field with brady sizemore grabbing his glove he's always going to give you 100 percent he has that football mentality when it comes to playing the outfield he'll crash into walls he'll dive for balls he'll do whatever it can to help his team win that's what caused him some of these injuries but that's what caused him to be a fan favorite and it's Jay Bruce in the box now. Young with the pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Well, four years in the big leagues now for Jay Bruce. In each of those four seasons, he's managed to top 20 homers. He's not perfect by any means, but he's getting there. He has a chance to be a great one. Here's the pitch. And he swings and hits this one foul. For Bruce, uh, being selective, it's going to be tougher to do because more and more pitches are away from him out of the strike zone. Even really nailed that one right through the middle of the infield. And there's one. And there's two. A double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. A fresh, gentle breeze and a terrific day for a game. And Casey Kochman to lead it off.
Swing and a softly hit ground into first. And that's out number one as he takes it to the back. Now batting with one away. Here's Lonnie Chisholm. Nine-year veteran. ball way back and it hits off the wall he's going to try for three so he legs out a triple here well I was already to mark this down on the card as a double put another line in there well he didn't let up at all Gary great effort on his part took a chance but he made it amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up number eight spot in the lineup well, they catch a little bit of a break here in a jam with runners on base, but a guy who not typically is a very good hitter in this situation. Right. Comes out swinging for the fences, but ends up with a strike one. And it's fouled away. Foul. Here's the pitch. You're Swing out. and a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. Check out the movement on this on K-Cam. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out done. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. Strike one. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch. 0-1. Here it comes. Good hard slider that time. He's in control in the count now, 0-2. He's a very defensive hitter when the count gets to 0-2, so I'm going to try to get him to chase something out of the zone. Line towards third and foul. Young fouls off oh. another one. Well, you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. The fact that he fouled it off will keep this at bat going. And that one swung out and missed by Carlos Gonzalez. They pick up no runs on a hit, stranding a man at third base. And number Orlando Hudson up. Over his career, going 291 up. Hit hard to second. Number 29. One down. Number 31. In the box now, number five spot. Grounded a short, number 18. Throws the first, he's retired. That's two down. Up now, the center fielder.
This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. And that one's put away to retire the side. Well, that's one way to keep your pitch count down. They wrap that inning up with three pitches. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Oh, he comes inside again. Things are getting hot. Is it intentional? Is it not intentional? We'll never really know because nobody will admit it. The one thing we do know, the fastball can hurt. Zimmer gets a turn here. But Gary, with this hit batter in this inning, we're starting to see now maybe a, a pattern forming here that he just doesn't have as good control today. Gary, you can look at it a couple ways. You can say, look, we've got the lead. Let's play for another big hit here. Or you can turn it off with the pedal of a metal and keep the offense going. I want to see him run. I think this is the time to get him going. Here's the pitch. Boy, he scorched that one. That was right over the mound. That's one. And two. A double play. Execution on that 6-4-3. Yeah, yeah, body control around the bag. Great acrobatic turn by the second baseman. Outstanding job. Now their center fielder at the plate. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. First pitch on the way. This foul. one's grounded foul wide at first. Putt shot towards the hole. Throws the first side is retired. It's the kind of inning the defense likes three up three down. the string on this one it looks like a fastball and then it just dies out as it gets to the plate good late movement swings on the 0 one pitch can't hit it strike two Swing liner back up the middle. Makes its way through for a single. That's going to bring Joey Bono up. I tries to sneak one down and in to get the strike three call, but he fights it off. Outstanding job at the plate. And that is so demoralizing for a pitcher. You work so hard to get ahead in the count, and then you give up a base hit. Pitch on the ground to second. He picks it up over the second for one. Back to first. Not in time. One and two won't get it. They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. And their pitcher at the plate now. And 
he lays one down here. Zimmer. And he throws the first in time out number two. Number 46. Now listen, pitchers don't hit the ball as well as position players do, but you can still impact the game with productive outs. Good fun. And boy, will he be happy if that comes around to score. That's going to make the manager very happy right there. Up now, there's second baseman. He bounced out his last time. Two outs and a runner on second. Here's the first pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And there's the third up. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. Coming to back. He'll start things off number here in number four. The pitch. This one's hit pretty well to right, but it's going to be out of play. Oh! And he fouls off another one. Oh! And he fouls another one off. Back up the middle. That should be a base hit. So that brings up Travis Hafner. Boy, I don't know on that count, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where it was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. Struck out swinging his last time up. He delivers. There's a swing and a smash. That's one of white. And he'll go back to first. Oh, he got a pitch to hit right there, but just a little bit out in front. Sends an easy fly ball to center field for the out. And a runner on Casey Kochman batting. Let's take a look here and see what his approach is against these hitters on the first pitch. Well, working ahead is paying off for him. He's retired eight hitters in this game after throwing a first pitch strike. The first pitch, swung on and a ground to the first. That swung out, over the first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. He makes a nice play to get the lead runner at second base with a strong, accurate throw. Good footwork, they just couldn't get the double play. And we've got Wallace ready to go at the plate. Tripled in his last appearance. Here's the first pitch. Strike one. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Let's take a look at how this pitcher has been utilizing his arsenal of pitches. Well, he's done exactly that. He's changed speeds, he's mixed up all his pitches, and the great thing is he's throwing them all for strikes. It's unpredictability. The hitters can't think along with him. They don't know what he's going to throw next, keeping them off balance. Here's the pitch. There's a high drive, hit deep into left field. This one way back. This one's off the wall. He's around third, and he's heading home. He's in there. What a tremendous hustle all the way from first. Steve, looked like that was a strike. Ball was up high, but I think in the zone. Well, up and away, but on an 0-2 count, you're thinking, I need to make contact. Exceptional job of eye-hand coordination. First pitch to him. Hit in the air to center field. 
the sides retired as they head into the dugout. So they score once on two hits, one man left. Coming to back. Catcher up to the Number plate. Three. One hit already going for another against Young. Play time to change up pretty well last time for a knock. And we'll see if he goes back to that or whether he tries to stay hard. That one goes foul. Oh! Here's the pitch. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. That's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning. No outs. Big things could happen now. And it's Jay Bruce in the box now. His career average 257 lifetime up. And starts him out here. That one's drilled to short. Good offensive chance here. Number 15. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball in the left. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. And it's Orlando Hudson in the box now. Ground out victim last time through. There's a throw over. Keeps him close at first. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. And he starts him out. Swung off. That ball hit well. Out there to deep. Left center field. Vaults himself way up in the air to pull that one in. Wow. And they'll try and hold the runners second and first. They stay. Well, that's a big first out of this inning. Now let's see if he can come back and get out of this thing unscathed. The pitch. Ball. Slider just misses. One and all. Okay, they have four hits so far. This one into the fourth inning. But they haven't been able to put them together and, and try to mount any rally. And I think right now the pitcher's getting the job done. Making the pitch when he needs to. At the belt, the 1-0. Swings. Hits this one in the air. Down the right field line. Two down. Now, two outs down. now. Those runners are still Number standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead intact. Six slide up at the plate again. Popped out. Foul ground last time around. And the first pitch. It's fouled off. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. And there's the third up. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. End of the order is going to try and kick it off offensively. He'll get us started here in the fifth. And here's the first one. Swings and misses the good change right there on one. But Gary, these hitters are really now going to have to focus on his changeup. It is his best pitch, and it is one of the best around. That swung on, hit on the ground. Number 46. Out, one away. What are you talking about? How do you approach this changeup, Gary? Well, I'll tell you what, it's very, very difficult as a hitter. Because if you look changeup, then the fastball is going to beat you. But if you try to speed up for the fastball, then you're way out in front on the changeup. And it rolls around to the top again. Hit by a pitch his last time up. 
much and get some hacks in here. And starts him out here. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. We'll uh, take a quick look here at how he's been mixing up his placement of pitches. Well, how can you complain about what this guy has done today? I mean, most of the game, he's been locked in. You know, in respect to how he's been mixing up his location, he's doing it enough to keep the hitters off balance and keep them guessing, wondering what's coming next. That swung on and flied to right. Miller to field this one. And he gets to it and puts it away. Zimmer up at the plate. Homered back in the first inning. And he starts him out. Swing and a rocket toward short. And with two down, they've got a man on board. Well, the inning is never over with this team. Two outs, they get that guy in first base with that big hit. Another guy gets on base. This could set up a big rally. Number three slot up again here. Grounded out last time. And the first pitch. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. That's caught. Side is retired. It's called short work of three. Took six pitches. Up to the plate. In the box, their third baseman. First A.B. of the game. He got a base hit that came off young. And we've seen that four-seamer hit by a couple of guys right now. You have to command it if you're going to throw it. Swings and grounds this one foul wide of third. Oh. Here's the delivery. Oh. oh, tough one to lay off right there. That fastball one and two. Well, outstanding pitching effort so far here. I mean, he's left three runners on base in this game. I mean, but he's just shutting down this lineup. And when he needs to make a pitch, he seems to always find a way to do it. Swung on and fouled away. The one two on its way. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. Well, 92 miles per hour, you can get away with some mistakes, but it would be nice to have some movement. I think uh, last couple of pitches he faced, it, it didn't seem like he was ready for that fastball. Yeah, he got some off-speed pitch the previous pitch, but you should be able to expect to get the bat on that heater, especially with two strikes. And it's Joey Votto with the plate. One away. But Joey Votto didn't have the same year as he did in 2010, but still was a major factor in the Reds' offense. Hard to think where they would be without him. Here's the first pitch. Lined up the middle. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. And uh, absolutely right. Where would the Reds be without him? I mean, they have become a force now in the Central. In fact, many think the team to beat, and it's all come with Votto. Yeah, to compete in the National League Central, you have to have a big bat in the middle of the lineup that other teams fear. And the Cincinnati Reds definitely have that in Joey Votto, hopefully for a lot of years to come. He sends this one in the air towards center. Now it's two away. Stepping up to the plate. Second base. Number 46. Up now, their second base. 0 for 2 thus far. Two 
outs and a man on first. Here's the pitch. Ball strike on the outside corner, 0 1. Steve, let's take a look at what he's getting done out there on the mound. How's this righty doing it? Well, he's getting a lot of ground ball outs, and it's because they just cannot seem to stay behind the ball. They keep hitting the top of the ball. Pitch on the way. Line drive fouled off towards first. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. Big bats ready to make an appearance. Yeah, there's Grady Sizemore in the box now. He's ready to start out here in the sixth inning. Here's the delivery. A swing, a ball hit high, deep into right field. The two-run lead has turned into a three-run ball game after that solo shot and a great swing. You know, Gary, they're not bunching him together, but that is the second home run they hit off him in this game. You may be taking a look at the sequence of pitchers right now. Well, they're going to have to get it together with the pitcher and catcher. Now, Barry, now Gary, this offense has just been in control right, right here. Now. Extending the lead, going to make it much more difficult to catch him later. First pitch to him. He swings, hits a ball to right field. Miller to field this one. No problem for him. That's an easy one. Bounced into a fielder's choice his last time. Here's the first pitch. Strike one. Swing and a miss for strike one. Well, it's uh, keeping up with the hit trends in this one. Let's take a look at the pitches that he's thrown on the mound that have been put in play. That four-seam fastball of his, it's gotten hit three times. You know, it's interesting that you say that. There is a fair amount of hits that could be part of why he's... There is a swing and a liner. On to first, that's out number two. Number 33, Bobby Wallace. It's Lonnie Chisenhall at the plate. There are two down. Double homer run in his last at bat. Here's the first pick. Right Put something off, and it swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Boy, he just couldn't wait for that changeup to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it. You have to let it come to you. Right and two. it's 0 2. Lonnie Chisenhall now carefully watching the next one. He's a free swinger on the 0-2 count, so you've got to think to yourself, don't give him anything too good to hit. He fouls that one off. Big swing and a miss for Lonnie Chisinau. Strike three, and he is gone. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Cruck and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. 
Here's the first one. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And he gets over and grabs it. Number 46, Dusty Miller. And he really gets a lot of attention. It doesn't matter whether he's home or on the road. Pitch. There's a swing and a liner towards first. Out number two. Number 15. Well, he hit this one on the screws, but luckily the first baseman had him positioned properly and had the big old glove over there to get him out. And here's Orlando Hudson. And a moment here to see how this pitcher has been mixing up his pitches. And mixing up your pitches to me, he's throwing way too many changeup. He's become reliant on it. You know, guys, the pitch I think he could actually use a bit more is that cutter. Get some movement on it. Let the hitter think it's a fastball and then run it off the center of the bat. I think that would be very effective here. Now the first pitch. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And that's through a base hit. Well, you got to love to see this guy get on base with two outs right here with that base hit. Now it's up to his teammates to figure out a way to get him across the plate. And the first baseman in. Flew out last time. Here we go, Cincinnati. Checks him at first. First base, keeping him in there. First pitch on the way. That's on that off-speed pitch, but can't connect 0-1. Okay, they left four runners on base so far in the game, so they've had a couple of opportunities, you know, to be able to try to make something happen, but just have not been able to come up with a big hit or a long ball. Here it comes. Swung on, hit. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. The opportunity for offense is right now. Nice piece of hitting right there. He manages to drive that high 0-1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch recognition. He sure looked like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0-2. He was going to wail. Oh, he was aggressive, no question about it. He got a pitch he could handle and took advantage. Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch on the way. Watches a curve in there for strike one. The pitch. That's on the outside corner. Nothing in two. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spots. Throw that change up away. Good slider that time. Ruled the ball. One and two. A pitch like that just locks the hitter up when it's in on the hand. That's well just about had him, and it's a 2-2 two -two count. There's a swing. It's popped up. And he's there to retire the side. So they're shut down again. That's six shutout innings so far. We'll get a shot at it later on in this inning. Now up to the plate. And the number eight spot number rolls eight around. Eight. He'll lead off the seventh inning. The first pitch. Taps oh. this one foul off to the left. The pitch. Has a big rip at that, but he's in the hole now. 0-2. 
Well, if he threw a fastball right there, he might send a souvenir to the crowd. Problem was, he got the changeup and didn't connect. The pitch. And this one's up the middle. Number 46. And his throw is in time for out number one. Well, some injuries last year for Carlos Gonzalez, but he showed he's not a flash in the pan. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with for a long time in this lineup. Here's the first pitch. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Tell you about Gonzalez, short season, John. He only played 127 games with injuries. Yeah, and you look at some of the guys he's been traded for. Dan Heron, Matt Holliday. You don't give up big-name pitchers and big-name position players, everyday players, for a guy who hasn't got a... He swings now and really hit that. Now it's two down. And it rolls around to the top again. Wearing the collar thus far. First pitch. Strike Swings one. at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Well, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. Game, the solo home run adding to that lead. Well, they're going to have to start thinking about backing some of these hitters off. They're looking very comfortable. Three home runs so far today. You can survive home runs, but you start getting to this number and you're going to be in trouble even if they're solo. Yeah, you're right. Gary, this offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead, going to make it much more difficult to catch him later. On the way. Swing and a hot shot, and it gets down a three for four game. Good hitting job. Now up to the plate. He's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. Now there's center fielder at the plate. Well, any great pitching coach will tell you that you you got to keep the batters guessing. Swinging on pitches that may not be strikes, that's a major key. Here's a look at that trend and how it's gone. Well, when you take a look at it, I think what it shows is the hitters aren't chasing pitches out of the zone right now. He hasn't been able to expand the strike zone successfully, John. Well, and that's why his performance has been subpar. Anytime you struggle with your command, it's not going to be a good day. Here's the pitch. Take something off that time in control with the count now, 0 2. The hitter's got to protect the outer part of the plate right here, down 0 2. Yes, ball swung on and missed, side retired. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. Latter third of the lineup coming up.
have just joined our broadcast. Great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crump. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. Swings and misses. The good change right there. 0 and 1. Look here, listen. He's, he's made pitches. He's at, they've had a few base runners on against them. No question about it. They've got a few hits. But he's not he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept him off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. He deals. Swing and a line at a right center. And in there, he's due for three today. That's going to bring Joy Motto up. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Hit hard on the ground to short. There's one. On the first, safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Well, he's pitching with a lot of confidence out there right now and been very efficient with his stuff. A hard guy to beat when he's locked in, and he's clearly locked in today. Here's a very close play, just a split second on this one. Well, it became a race ball against man, and the base runner beat him. Short stops have tough arms. That one a little short. And their pitcher up again. He flew out his last time up. Drops down a bunt. Zimmer. In time for the up. Well, he's been having this lineup guess the entire game right now. He's out thinking them and out pitching them. He's continuing to be sharp the entire game. Now, to be a successful pitcher, you have to be able to pitch and field your position, but you also have to handle the bat, and that's what he did right there. Well, that number nine spot, Steve, a lot of people say that's just a waste. That's an automatic out. That's how you take and get something out of it. That's how you help yourself when you're the pitcher. Two outs and a runner on second. First pitch on the way. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Bounces up against the wall. The run scores. Uh, just the same to see the shutout broken up right there, Gary, but still, just a tremendous performance today. Well, as a pitcher, all you can do is throw it where you think he can hit it, and that's what this pitcher did. He made a great pitch. He executed it perfectly. Just give the hitter the credit. He beat him on this one. And with that right-hander warming up in the bullpen here, I'm not sure quite what they're thinking. Well, with the left-handed hitter on deck, he's probably getting ready for hitters later in the lineup. First pitch was a strike, 0-1 now. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was looking for right there, but that's a great job of pitching as he fooled the hitter on that pitch down the way. Here's the pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. Well, they score once on two hits, one man left. Okay. How's he getting these first pitches across? Well, let's take a look. You now, they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses with that fastball. Uh, he just reared back and said, here it comes, big boy. Here comes my best fastball. He busted him inside with it. He delivers. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. This one beyond him. It's going to be extra bases. This one rolls through to the wall. Yeah, we got a guy on the mound that looks like uh, he's tiring out there. The bullpen's active. Well, he's running out of gas, and I can't see them staying too much longer with this guy. And with that, all he needs is a double to complete the cycle. Let's see if he can get another at bat.
It's Travis Half. Big offensive opportunity now. And the first pitch. Took something off, and it swung on and missed. 0-1. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. Bad timing. Here's the pitch. And it's now 0-2. Hafner is going to have to cut that swing down here. a swing and a drive deep right field Miller to field this one that's one away and that will not get that runner in from third with one out and a runner on third Casey Koch 0 for 3 to this point And here's the first one. Swung on line to right center field. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. That brings in a run here. Now back. Third base. Well, anytime your pitcher gives up 10 hits, there's a pretty good chance he doesn't have a lot going for him in the game. And I think if I'm the manager, I'm going to head out there and bring the hook with me. Chance to drive in a run here for Lonnie Chisholm. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now, each player feeding off the other. Well, they're taking advantage of add-on time, and the opportunities are there. They're cashing in, adding on to this lead. And you hope the pitcher's a little frustrated right here, maybe makes a mistake in a bad pitch, and you add to it. Swing, a ball hit high, deep to left field, way back. They add a couple more to the lead now, a home run and a six-run lead. Take a look at the change in the win expectancy brought on by that two RBI homer. Well, they're going to have to get the bullpen warmed up right here, Gary. I mean, they're, they're certainly finding the mistakes, and they're driving them out of the park. These hitters have got a timing thing going with him right now. now well, I, I don't know if I'd want to be a, an opposing pitcher right now. This offense looks unstoppable. First pitch to him. There's a drive. Left center field. It is deep. Still going. What an offensive display here today. Another big fly. The lead now to seven. Well, back-to-back -back shots right there, and certainly the offense coming to life, Gary. Well, this pitcher's got to figure this out, or he's going to be gone in a hurry. Well, they got to get somebody warm. Now back. Well, this is a pitcher's worst nightmare right here. Throwing it and having it crushed every single time it's over the plate. Nice green throw to check him out. First delivery to Young. There's a ground ball. He dives and he's up with it. And the throws in time at first. Mercy, what a play. 
Back he had a dive and still had time to get up and make the throw. That's how hard that was hit. Well, the accuracy of that throw is what's tremendous. When you're moving that quickly, rushing to get to your feet, it's awfully tough to be that accurate. And the first baseman in. Well, let's take a look at a breakdown of how this pitcher has been generating quality strikes. Guys, your thoughts? Well, anytime you can keep the ball down in the strike zone, you're going to have a lot of success. And it's no wonder here that he's produced his quality strikes when he's done that. But he's got to stick with that strategy. He keeps elevating the pitches, and when he does, he's getting hurt. Here's the first pitch. Now swinging a shot toward second. Throws on the first in time to retire the side. But not before they tally four times, thanks to two home runs in the inning. Things will start getting a little more difficult. Third man in the lineup coming up. Here's Jay Bruce leading it off. Try it again here. Just one for three thus far. pitch. Liner between first and second. The dive and a spectacular play. Reaction time critical on this play if you're going to get it in the air. You're not going to see many plays better than this one. The instant it leaves the bat, he reacts quickly and reaches out and makes the catch. And Orlando Hudson up. Well, the old dog, Orlando Hudson, has been bouncing around clubs for the past couple seasons. Hasn't been able to get back to that magic from his earlier days. And he starts him out. Cut on and missed 0-1. One. one of the things with Orlando Hudson, John, uh, maybe the fact that it looks like, as age has set in a little bit, the uh, power numbers are gone. Yeah, he can do a lot of things. A great fielder, puts the ball in play, great base runner. The thing is, is that his power numbers have faded the last few years, and you have to figure that's going to continue. Head up the middle. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate and he pays for it. Up again now, the number five spot. I'm going to take a brief moment here to check out the breakdown in this pitcher's pitch types that have turned into hits today. John, Steve, your thoughts? Well, guys, you look at that four seamer. It's been hit six times. Yeah, we're later on in this game, but that's way too many hits coming off one pitch. You know, I think considering how much that pitch has been hit here today, he's lucky to have surrendered as few runs as he has. First pitch on the way. Swing and a bouncing ball up the middle. Wallace, one. And a double play. They got a vote. No strikeouts, but you talk about confidence. Four pitches, three batters down. For those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crook and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Zimmer at the plate now. He'll start us out here in the last inning of regulation. Number 20 called on to do the hurling now. They've decided it was time to make a change here. Towards third. Power back in this one, Red. This one back. This one right here. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. No problem with that one. Number 26. Number three slot up again here. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Now the first pitch. Hard grounded a short. Corcoran. And a good throw gets him two down. Number 42.
Grady Sizemore at the plate. Well, he's seen the ball well today. Now needs that two-bagger for the cycle. Well, he's been driving the ball well. Look for him to get a ball up in the zone that he can drive. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard to second. Number 46. Throws on to first side is retired. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. Do up six, seven, eight in the lineup. Six slider for the plate again. Hasn't gotten a hit yet today. We'll see what he can do here. That swung on and flied to right. And he puts that one away. One down. Honestly, if you know, win it big right now, you just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. And the number seven batter in the box. Had a base hit his last time up. The first pitch. And he takes one in there on one. Solid outing. He's gone two for three against Young. Well, he's going to have to change the sequence of pitches that he went to the last time, especially throwing that slider, which is the pitch he got the hit on. Here's the delivery. Keeps it down that time. 0 and 2. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Here's the pitch. Well, when a pitcher throws a pitch like that, you expect to get the strikeout. Great piece of hitting defensively to keep this at bat alive. And that's another foul ball. This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. The catch is made, and that's out number two. Now down to their final out right here, Gary. So, you know, looking pretty dire at this point. And, you know, but listen, plenty of things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. It's going to be Corcoran now. on that 0-0 delivery. Misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, just because he's a fastball hitter doesn't mean you can't throw him a fastball. Strength on strength right there. And the pitcher came out ahead. Oh, wow. And Young outside the strike zone for a ball. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Right Swing and a miss. He's behind a ball and two strikes. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. Line towards third and foul. The one two pitch. Foul. And another foul ball. Well, he's going to have to keep this same approach if he wants this at bat to go on. That's a pitch right there that possibly could have put in play. He's lucky, though, he fouled it off because you can't do a lot with that high pitch.
on the way. And this oh. is bounced foul to the left side. Well, this is one of these at-bats that you know you want to get something to drive. The bottom line is, though, the pitcher is not giving you anything to hit in a gap. So you're being defensive and fouling things off. Oh, this is a great battle right here. And it's in there. Strike three call. That's it. Not easy to win on the road, but they made it look easy today as they were clicking on all cylinders. Now it's time to present our player of the game. Well, you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do. But when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club and to that club that you showed up to play. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Crockett and Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.